Let me get this straight. If Schalke get relegated, there's a chance the club could cease to exist? It was only a few years ago Schalke were in the Champions League with players like Leroy Sané, and now they're on the verge of extinction? Nah, not on my watch. Because today, I'm going to be saving Schalke from going extinct. Oh, but the team we're starting with, it's, it's really average. There's, there's no Leroy Sané level player here. And we're gonna have to work our way from the Bundesliga too. Also, if this wasn't difficult enough, we're not gonna be allowed to make nope. any transfers until we get Schalke in a European competition. Oh man, not being able to improve this team through transfers, nah, this looks like an impossible task. But there's still more. Since debt is the reason Schalke are in this mess, we also need to repay 170 million, which is the debt Schalke are under through player sales. But guys, our most valuable player is worth 3.1 million. I really don't know how we're gonna get Schalke back to the top. Here we go, guys. Season one with Schalke. We do have 5 million to start with. That's our budget. But since we can't make any signings, uh, it's kind of pointless. We're just gonna have to figure out getting the best out of this team. But like, nobody looks impressive. Okay, we do have this guy, Ron Schallenberg. 72 rated. Looks a lot better than everyone else. Lino Templeman looks okay. But yup, this is bad. I can easily now see how Schalke have fallen off this much. Right now, I think we need to just forget about repaying the debt. We'll do that once we're hoping hopefully in the Bundesliga and we've got a good team. The only way I can see us build a good team now is through the academy and thankfully we already have a good scout and I think we're gonna spend a big chunk getting a new scout because we, we need to use the youth academy to bring in the next pool of talent for Schalke. That's the only way. Okay, we're gonna send a scout to of course Germany to bring us some German talents and let's send a scout to Spain. Like, let's hope that we can get some good talents, boys. This is the only way we can save Schalke and of course hiring a good Good coaching staff is going to be key too with the remaining money that we've got. Yo, what just happened? We literally ran out of money just by spending on scouting projects and hiring coaches. Honestly, I, I don't know where we're going with the Schalke team. What a lovely start this is, guys. Two games, two defeats. Bro, if we get relegated, oh boy. Okay, we've got our first youth scout report and these are the only things that can save us. We need to literally build a whole new team through the academy. Let's see who the German scout we've got has brought us. Any good talents? Nobody sees seems like outrageously good or anything. Just a bunch of average players and we, we don't want average. Okay, this is interesting. At least the scout we sent to Spain has got us Matteo Alonso. Looks somewhat decent. Well, we'll sign him up. Yo, this is gonna be such a grind because even the academy players are gonna be super low rated. He's 57 rated at this point. And we're gonna need a full team of academy players if we want to progress because that's the only way we can improve this team. Nah, but this is so difficult. We're not finding any like real good talents that we can see. Sign. Okay, wait, I think we've got our first big talent, David Morales, a goalkeeper. 1.4 million is his value. Yo, the Spanish scout coming through. We're gonna sign him up again. No one is really good apart from him. But this is a good thing. We're slowly adding players into the academy. I think our first season's gonna be just this. Scouting projects to bring in talents for the future. And I just gotta hope we somehow survive. Like, forget promotion. We just don't want to get relegated. So far, it's looking okay. Yo, our Spanish scout is absolutely balling. He's got us Diego Cabrera. This guy, Eduardo Carvajal, looks pretty decent. But this is the big one, Rodrigo Diaz. 1.5 million is his value. Let's sign him up. Oh, man, the future of Schalke is definitely coming through. Okay, now we need to start new scouting projects because the last ones were done. This guy is a legend, man. He got us so many great players from Spain. Now we're going to send him to a trip to South America, maybe bringing us a few Brazilians. Meanwhile, I'm going to send our first initial scout to Germany because we still need some good German players in there. Oh, and finally, we've got a decent player from Germany, Julius Jung. Man's got a headband too. Ah, but the Brazilian scout project we had, it's its not worked out well. Couldn't find a single good player. I think we need to be smarter choosing the nations. Maybe we'll find more talent closer to Germany, like somewhere like Italy. And I want to also try and get some defensive players from Germany. Let's see if that works. And yes, we finally got a super talented player from Germany, Jacob Koenig, 1.7 million, 6 foot 2. Yo, that potential looks crazy. Crazy. I'm hoping he'll be a centre-back. And yes, indeed, he is a centre-back. The Italian scout was kind of useless, though. I want to try one last push to get a few more talents in. We'll again send a scout to Germany. And let's try Portugal. I'm, I just need a few more good players to come in. And yes, Portugal's been lucky for us. That's got to be the highest value academy player I think I've 
seen in a long, long time. Two million for Rui Rodriguez. 73 to 94 potential. We're snapping him up. This is our last month of scouting for the season. And I think I've found the greatest youth academy player ever. Ludwig Berger. 2.2 million. 84 to 94 potential. How is this even possible? Of course, we're signing him up. EK Hoffman also looks decent. We'll bring him in too. So guys, after a full season of scouting, we found 10 players that I'm hoping will be the future of Schalke. We're going to promote all of them for this upcoming season. And this is where the journey begins of a brand new Schalke. The question is, how did this team do this season? Okay, at least we didn't get relegated. I don't want to be in the Bundesliga 3. Hold up. Did we get promoted? Oh my days. We might be in the Bundesliga. Okay, maybe not. We nope. lost the playoffs, which actually might be a good thing. Because I think I'd rather build with these academy players being in Division 2 rather than just getting kicked out of the Bundesliga. But hey, we didn't get relegated. The club's not going extinct. But from next season, the real rebuild of Schalke begins. And here we go, season two of Project Saving Schalke. This is where the real grind begins. Because all the 10 Youth Academy prospects we scouted, we've put them in the first team. Now, I know some of their ratings are really low, but we're banking on these youngsters to really grow and become amazing players. Remember, guys, we still can't use this 7 million budget that we've got to make any signings until, of course, we escape the Bundesliga 2 and somehow qualify for one of the European competitions. So we're still a long way away from making any transfers. The bet is on these youth academy players to just really shine. Also, guys, if you remember, the club still has a debt of 170 million. And initially, my plan was to start paying it off once we get to the Bundesliga. But I think we've got a few players that we can sell now and just reduce that debt a little bit. Look at that. 4.5 million for Henning Matriciani. We'll take it. Another 2.5 7 million all of this counts and so after pulling off a massive club clear out selling player after player our transfer budget is 24 million and i think we started out with 6 million and there you go we're using all the money from the player sales to repay some portion of our debt we still have 152 million that we owe and i'm hoping we'll be able to repay that once we get this team to the bundesliga but man do we have to trust these youngsters to deliver i'm just hoping we can see some outrageous growth time to see if we can get this new Schalke team promoted. We've made it to the end of the season and I'm already excited just looking at the ratings of everyone. Yo, the growth we've had. Our goalkeeper is now 72 rated. Look at our left winger from the academy, Rodrigo Diaz. He's up to a 72 as well. The same with Rui Rodriguez. Yup, the growth all round has been stunning. But can a bunch of kids get Schalke back to the Bundesliga? And the answer is yes. This time around we finished second getting automatic promotion to the Bundesliga. Also guys, this season I wasn't heavily focused on the academy, but we still found a couple of really talented youngsters. They should help for squad depth for when we are in the Bundesliga. From almost being extinct to now back in the Bundesliga, we've got Schalke at least competing with the big boys. But you know what? I'm worried. I don't know if this team's good enough to compete in the Bundesliga. The worst thing is, although we've got about 25 million in our budget, we literally can't make any transfers until we qualify for the European competition, which is basically getting top six in the Bundesliga. And I don't think this season we've got anyone that we can even sell. I don't think we're going to be working towards the debt for now. I think the goal is to just see these players grow more. And hopefully we can survive the Bundesliga. Um, okay, this wasn't supposed to happen. We've just been relegated. Oh, and it was brutal. We weren't even close to safety. Our players grew really well in their overall. But the truth is, it's just a bunch of academy players that we've got. I'm now wondering, is it even possible to save Schalke? Are we just going to keep yo-yoing between Bundesliga to and of course the top division now we've got to find a way out <sighs> back in Bundesliga 2 right where we started but you know what the plan is still the same we're gonna keep trusting the youth academy prospects because we don't really have any other choice even the money we have we can't really use so we're getting through the season with the hopes that the academy players will deliver well okay at least we get promoted right back to the Bundesliga and it does look like our squad has grown quite a bit I'm hopeful now that maybe we've got what it takes to survive in the Bundesliga. That's going to be the first step. Players like David Morales, our goalkeeper, Rui Rodriguez, our striker, Diaz as well. If they can help us survive in the Bundesliga, maybe we can build from there. We're now in our fifth season with Schalke, and it feels like all we've done so far is 
yo-yo between the Bundesliga and the second division. I'm really hoping that can change this season. Our players are better than ever. Time to see if we can survive the Bundesliga. Wait a minute, guys. We're not in the bottom three. Um, are we gonna finish in the top six? Yes, we are. Fifth in the Bundesliga. That means from next season, we can finally make signings. Yo, I did not expect this. I think spending that extra season in the second division helped us out because the growth has been solid with our players. And from next season onwards, we can actually make signings and improve this team. But I completely forgot about something else. We're also gonna have to start servicing the debt of this club. 152 million in player sales. We've got to start working towards it. Oh, and also if you're enjoying the content, I'd appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel. The goal is now to try and hit 2 million subscribers before the end of the year. I know it's a crazy goal, but if you guys can help me out, maybe we can get there. Season 6 with Schalke, and I feel we're finally in a position where we can start pushing for maybe qualifying for Champions League. I think we're going to be in the Europa League or the Conference League this season, which should be good. And because of that, our budget's looking decent, about 61 million to spend. Now I know that we've still got 152 million in debt that we need to clear out. But the thing is, our players are still so young and they've got so much more room to grow. It feels kind of silly trying to clear the debt now and sell these players right now. It's better to wait, let them grow, and maybe then we'll make the decision on who to sell. For now, let's just use this 60 million, improve this team, and maybe qualify for Champions League. To start with, I just found Ricardo Calafiori, an Italian left back, whose contract is expiring, and you know that's something I absolutely love. And finally, in our sixth season, we're making our first transfer with Schalke. It's been a grind to get here. And to be honest, bringing in a left back of this quality for 30 mil? Absolute bargain. Also, we are slightly making progress in our debt because I have sold a player. It's the other left back we had. We've sold him to Benfica for 12 million. We just brought in a new left back. Makes sense. With that, we've brought down our debt to 140 million. We still have 32 million to spend. And I'm thinking, what can we do with that? Maybe a CDM could be a really nice upgrade. And looks like we picked up a solid option for 27 million. Archie Gray, 22-year-old CDM with already a really solid rating of 78. It's the perfect signing. Oh, and that also means I think we can sell this Schallenberg guy that we've got and help with the debt. And look at that. We sold him for 20 mil. The club's debt is now down to 120 million. All right, guys, we're basically out of money now, but I think we've done a good job, improved the team with a couple of good signings, also worked on our club's debt. All we need now is to keep delivering on the pitch. This was our first season in the Europa League. We finished second in the group, but it was Chelsea that knocked us out. But hey, it's good experience for eventually when we'll be in the Champions League. But yep, the Champions League is still a far-fetched dream because we once again finish fifth, which is decent. It allows us to keep making signings and improving the team. But what's most important is the growth. And did we get good growth? And yes, we did. Look at Rodriguez and Diaz. These guys are 87 rated. Our backline is looking better than ever. The bench is looking fairly decent. We've got a 90 rated goalkeeper. Oh, wow. Look at the valuations for some of our players. Cabrera is worth 150 million. Rodriguez 124. I think next season might be the season to clear the club's debt. But that's going to be a painful decision to make. We're now in our seventh season with Schalke and it's finally time to address the situation. The 120 million of debt we've got, I think we need to just get it out of the way so we can focus on the future. One of these supremely talented players we've got, players we've built up from the academy, but this was the purpose. We nurtured them to sell them and pay off the debt. You've been raising him like a pig for slaughter. The most valuable player we've got is Rui Rodriguez at 163 million. But I don't want to sell our striker. He's going to win us the Champions League. Or at least I hope so. The next option is shipping off our right back Cabrera. That would clear the debts. And plus, I think bringing in a quality right back would be a lot cheaper. I think this is the play. We sell Cabrera and the club's debts are over. Schalke won't be at risk of getting extinct. We're doing it, boys. I'm putting him on the transfer list. Oh my days. Am I seeing things that have PSG put in a 215 million bid for a right back? Have they lost their mind? Should I even try and negotiate this? Because the more money we get, it'll be added on to our budget. We have to pay 120 million, of course. But this is an opportunity to get even more money. I'm just going to counter with 230 million just to see what PSG think. But this is crazy. Okay, they're not willing to pay us more money. Okay, what about 220 million? That'll still be decent. Okay, nah, you know what? I'm not risking it. Just, just give me the money. It's actually done, boys. The academy player we developed is off to PSG. 
PSG. And yes, we're using the 120 million from our budget to pay off the club's debt. We're debt free. And the crazy thing is we still have 118 million to improve this team. Now that we've saved Schalke from extinction, there's only one goal. And that's making them the best club in Germany. Not just that, the best club in Europe. And that starts by bringing in a new right back. I can't believe we just signed Connor Bradley, the next Trent Alexander-Arnold for just 30 million. See, that's why it was a great decision to just cash in on Diego Cabrera. Okay, we still got 82 million to spend. We've got ourselves a right back. I think it's our midfield that's kind of looking, you know, a bit meh. Well, the midfield is definitely getting improved because we just signed on Engels, 83 rated, center mid, only 25 years old as well. That does improve the team massively. But is it going to be enough to push for a Champions League spot? You know what? I think we've got the squad to do it. It's time to see what a dead free Schalke can do. End of the season and oh, we came so close to winning the Bundesliga. I mean, we finished above Bayern, but Xabi Alonso and Bayer Leverkusen are a bit crazy. Meanwhile, in the Europa League, we finished second in our group, but we got to the semi-finals and only got knocked out by Man United. But to be honest, guys, it's solid progress. Just look at the overalls of our team. I don't see why with a few signings, we won't be challenging for maybe the Champions League next season. Because clearly the team is there. We're not forced to sell anyone. And we've got a striker that scores 30 plus goals a season. I think next season's going to be big. Okay, yeah. Even though we've cleared the club's debt, we're not going to be a super rich club. We've got just 90 million to spend. And to be honest, I'm looking at this team and there isn't much we can do for improvement. Maybe I'm thinking we bring in like a world-class right winger. Yep, yeah, that's the only thing I can think of right now. Oh, and bringing my trusted Matthias Sula. He's one of my favorite players to sign in career mode. I think him being 86 rated could be huge for us. We literally used up all our money to sign Matthias Sula. And that's it. That's the team. We've now cleared the club's debt. The future is looking brighter than ever. Our team is the strongest it's ever been. But are we going to be good enough to win the Champions League? The group stage has been wrapped up and we survived. But it was tight. But yep, it doesn't look like we're one of the favorites to win the Champions League. Okay, we definitely got lucky with the round of 16 draw. We've knocked out Atalanta. And the luck continues. We've knocked out RB Leipzig as well. No way, guys. We're literally having the easiest run of all time in the Champions League. If we knock out Villarreal, we're going to be in the final. Nah, there's absolutely no way we're bottling this. Villarreal are getting destroyed. There you go. Second leg, we got the job done. From bankruptcy to a Champions League final in eight seasons, we've done the impossible. Not just that, this season we won the German Cup. Ah, oh, but we couldn't win the Bundesliga. That is so frustrating. But you know what? The pressure was immense on this team. You can't win everything always. Let's get that Champions League and make Schalke the world's best club. But first, can we just take a moment and appreciate the academy players we've developed? Like, it's absolutely crazy. Do you know what? I'm actually curious what's happening with Cabrera right now. Remember, he was the player that cleared all our debt. What's up with him now? And he's 94 rated at PSG. Fair enough. And it's now time to finish our story with Schalke. We've cleared the debt. All that remains is to bring home the trophy. Yo, I'm actually excited to try out all the academy players we've developed from day one. I think we've got like six or seven of them in this team. Oh, but AC Milan are going to be one hell of an opponent because they've got a really good team. We're, we're going to have to really put in a top class performance if we want to win this. Okay, go on, Diaz. He's got pace. He's got good pace. Maybe a cross. Oh, lovely cutback. Bruh. Rodriguez, no, you're 92 rated. You're not supposed to do that. We're actually playing some incredible football. What a chance. Rodriguez. Oh, that was an incredible finish. Not going to lie. That might be one of the best crosses I've pulled off ever. That was literally perfect. And what a finish. A goal made from the Schalke Youth Academy, boys. But yep, the game's only begun. We still have 70 odd minutes to try and hold on. Oh, once again, Diaz has gone through. He's really a perfect winger for us. Go on. Another cross, maybe. He's going to do it. And no, what was that? Why did I head the ball there? I'm looking frustrated on the touchline. Ever since our goal, guys, we've been having to just defend. And it's, it's so far worked okay, but it might not. Good defending again, but this is getting too intense. We've really limited AC Milan in this game, but I think we need that second goal if we want to win it. No, 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 no. We're having to defend. Our centre-back is tracking back, but it's not enough. Big save from our keeper. That's what I'm telling you guys. A 1-0 lead is not going to be enough. Oh my days, did Rafael Leao almost score a bicycle kick? Our keeper's saving us. Come on, on the breakaway, we could have a chance. And here goes Diaz. He might be through on goal. Massive chance. Can Diaz finish? No. Oh, when you miss chances like that, they can come back and haunt you. I'm hoping it doesn't. 
We might have a chance here from a corner. Please, score. What's happening? It goes in. But I think it was offside. The linesman. It's over, guys. We've ascended the final peak with Schalke from being bankrupt, clearing out all the debt in the club to now a Champions League trophy. And that too with a core of mostly just youth academy players. This was an amazing journey. And although we won the Champions League, it's kind of going to haunt me that we couldn't win the Bundesliga. But still, we've made Schalke the world's best club. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, Video, I'm sure you'll enjoy me saving Barcelona from their bankruptcy. And their case is even worse. Click here to watch that.